Hi, it's Dave Robinson with PlantCoverCrops.com. It's uh, March 12th, 2012. We're in a field of cover crops where there had been a plot. This on the previous videos. Uh, this is uh, two weeks after it's been sprayed. Because I was out here two weeks ago and could certainly smell the herbicide and uh, see that it had been sprayed. What I want to look at is, uh, is we made some investigation actually three weeks ago about when the right time to spray was. We saw where in the ryegrass there was some younger or some smaller uh, sprouts coming up out of the ground from those existing plants. And I think I can focus in here on this where we can still see some green uh, here in this ryegrass uh, that may or may not uh, actually uh, be dead. Uh, as we look across the whole field, it obviously looks like everything is, is dead uh, as all get out. But when we investigate into these closer, uh, as we look at it more closely, we do see where there's some ryegrass that most likely was up underneath or under, was underneath the area where the uh, taller ryegrass was and also where some of the material that had been frozen was on top. So uh, I believe is, even though from the road this looks like an absolutely awesome uh, kill, I think we've got enough ryegrass out here that we'll probably need to do a second application just to make sure we don't have any escapes uh, to make sure there's no problem with any kind of weed issues uh, later on. Uh, here we go, we've got a plant right here. That's still very much a viable plant that probably this might have been sprayed just a little bit early. Again, it looks from the road like a fantastic kill as we scan across here, uh, you know, where the ryegrass was and the cereal rye was and so forth. Just looks tremendous. But as we investigate more closely, I think we're going to need to make that second spray. Again, Dave Robinson with PlantCoverCrops.com on uh, April 12, 2012 in northeastern Indiana.